Hello everyone, this is GF from Lacroix and today we'll take a look at how to update the setting on Nazare, Nazare Lone Star or Jaws. This is following the mandatory update. Uh, this video is really goes more to updating the settings on your board. If you ever have upgraded to the newest version of the firmware, uh, I suggest there's another video in the description below and it will help you to reconfigure completely your board because this video really goes more to just updating some little settings if you skip the version of the firmware 23.44, which was the oldest version of the firmware. Okay, before we start uh, with the app for Android device, I just want to tell you that there's also an app available for Windows. I'll show you at the end of the video where to get it from Inertion website. But the issue with the uh, Windows app is you need absolutely to connect a USB-C directly on the Unity. That's why we are only we're talking more about the app for Android, which can be used using Bluetooth. So right now, the first thing we have to do is to download the app. Right now, it's already installed on my device. But if you go on the Play Store, you can just easily find you do you do the research for the Fogbox Unity, and it's probably the first one that's going to appear and we can open it since it's already installed once it's open the first thing we have to do uh, for android device is to scan for bluetooth the bluetooth that should appear here is the unity bli 1.1 so when it does appear we can go and click connect and right now we see a warning uh, that tell us that the firmware is old but still compatible with the tool which is Kind of what we want to see but just to be sure what we have to check first is we have to go in the firmware tab on the top and we want to check and make sure that the firmware inside the unity is the firmware 23.44 and once we check if it's 23.45 there's another video of it and you probably need to redo all the configuration but if you have 23.44 this is uh, this is good for you so now we have to go into the config first step we do in config is read current config once we do we can go and see the tab of the battery so we can see in battery limit tab we are supposed to be at custom voltage uh, i know there's some version of the unity app that's going to show 11s which is okay because we're using custom voltage that are lower than what inertia will suggest us to use for 12s battery so the first step we have to do is to change the 65 amp and we have to drop it down to 45 and uh, the 45 is good for the nazare and the nazare lone star but if you have a jaws you have to use 30 amp and the max breaking regen should go down to minus 20 because the the issue with the app is uh we are actually we're putting half of what the settings should be because the app is seeing double the settings so we can go apply update configuration and once it is apply and we can see the confirmation at the bottom we can go back and connect disconnect and that's it that's everything you need to do okay now we need to go to the inertia website to find out the fogbox ui for windows so we'll just have to go on inertianboard.com uh, fogbox controller we have the fogbox unity here so this link the link for this page is going to be in the description below but it's not you know it's not an easy pick to to find it you have to go a little bit down and when you can see software source and link you have to download the fogbox ui uh not the fogbox tool uh, it's pretty simple because the fogbox ui have a bit less option and the fogbox tool is a bit complex for what we need and uh, offer a lot more than we actually need so that's why i do recommend to get more the fogbox ui which gonna have the same interface as the as the app for android so thank you guys have a nice day